I just got onto a ferry and I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna try and make some empanadas. I'm like starting to feel a little bit seasick, I'm not gonna lie. So hopefully I don't throw up while I'm doing this video. So the first thing you wanna do is cook the beans with some garlic, onion, and tomato. We have a little window right here to pass open. Quarter of an onion, a little tomato, a couple cloves of garlic. Let's see how quickly I can make empanadas. I have about an hour left of total fairy lands. People on this ferry are gonna be smelling onions like, is there a food truck on this ferry? seasoning. It's all kind of like stuck together from the humidity. It's like a bunch of different herbs in here. You're supposed to use cilantro, but I don't have cilantro. So that'll do. I'm just going to do one can of beans. And I'm going to cook it with all the juices in there. Mostly because I don't have a place to dump out the liquid right now. Fan life. So I wash my dishes, I just wipe it with paper towel. I use a spray bottle with water and a little bit of vinegar in it. It works. This flour, this is the best flour. Only use this. Trust me. I'm sure there's other brands you can use, but this is the one I like to use. Put a little flour in there. I don't really measure this. Depends on how many empanadas you want. Like this much is good. Plantain. Normally, I like to roast the plantain so it's like cooked already. Since I'm in a van, it's a little bit of a process, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use a raw plantain. It gets cooked anyways. It's just easier to mash up when you cook it a little bit. And then, add a little bit of salt. Smells like beans. Oh, bean juice just squirted at me. Now you add a little bit of water to the dough at a time and you squish it with your hands until it's the right consistency. At first the dough will be really sticky like this, it'll stick to your hand. Just keep playing with it, keep adding water little by little. Eventually it'll stop sticking to your hand. It'll turn into like a Play-Doh like consistency. Beans are about ready, just let them cool. You can also make this dough without plantain. Just use corn flour and water and a little bit of salt. I like the flavor of the plantain. You can also add banana in there. It just makes it hold together better, but it's not necessary. So this is pretty much the consistency that we're going for. Take a little bit of dough, roll it into a ball. There. So the next step, take a plastic bag, we're gonna cut it. You should probably clean the plastic bag, cut open. You're gonna take your dough ball, put it right here. Fold this over like this. Take a cutting board. Squish it. And there you go. Got a perfect little tortilla in there. Take some of our beans, put it in the middle like that. I tend to overfill it. I get excited. My secret ingredient, to the best empanadas is doing it with beans and banana. This is kind of a sad looking banana, sorry. It's a, it's a little brown. Every Costa Rican that I have shared this recipe with has thought that I'm freaking crazy adding a banana to empanadas. I actually learned to do this from a Costa Rican woman. I think maybe we just only had bananas instead of plantains, so she made me empanadas with beans and bananas. And it was really freaking good, I'm telling you. I think the sweetness of the banana kind of enhances the empanada a little bit. I don't know, but it's really good. I have to close up the empanada, fold it over like this with the plastic. It helps pinch the edges shut. Now, my empanadas kind of look more like dumplings, I would say. I don't care, because they're really good. There you go, perfect empanada. You just do that for the rest of these dough balls. These are also really good with cheese, any kind of cheese. I like to put goat cheese in it usually. It is kind of hard to keep perishables in my van because I don't have a fridge. 
but when I was in the Blue Ridge Mountains, it was pretty cold outside, so I just kept my goat cheese by my dashboard window. So at night, the coldness from the dashboard would keep my dairy fresh. I only really like to eat goat cheese or sheep cheese because I'm bougie like that. This one looks a little bit Russian to me. So I'm gonna finish up putting together all my empanadas and then I'll be right back. We might be on land pretty soon. Never leave these camping stoves unattended, by the way. Sometimes fire squirts out of here. I got it fixed last time that happened, but just in case. Oh yeah, I also just remembered that I usually add green Cholula sauce to the beans to add a little bit of spice. I totally forgot, but that's okay. I can just dip them in the Cholula. Now, they're better deep fried, but I don't want to waste my olive oil. This is where the fan is really important. The fan doesn't smell like fried stuff. Look at these delicious babies. These are the empanadas. Just as we are reaching land. My favorite hot sauce, green pepper cholula. about to eat my empanadas. My windshield is good over the soul spray. The Cedar Island looks kind of like a really big swamp. A road built on top of the swamp. Let's see what's on the radio. Music. the biggest dead fish I have ever seen. That's disgusting. Just gonna eat inside, I guess. Mm. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 